why you should measure on physical layer in a CAN bus environment. To measure is to know. Why measure the physical layer? The CAN bus is one of the variants of digital communication. It has been used in more and more fields since the 1980s. Cars, trucks, heavy machinery, elevators, industrial plants, e-bikes and aerospace, to name just a few. To communicate with each other, ones and zeros are transmitted. For transmission, a medium and a connection are required. For CAN, usually a twisted pair cable is used, on which different voltages signal either one or zero. The voltage is an analog variable whose signal curve can be influenced by a wide variety of factors. The baud rate, the propagation speed, capacitances and inductances, resistors and impedances, as well as many analog quantities that influence the CAN bus and the transmitted signal. In order for all participants on the bus to receive each other's message correctly, all these variables must enable reliable communication, even if external interference or natural changes impair transmission. If only the digital layer of communication is considered, no statement can be made about the system's immunity to interference. If during a development you want to assess how reliable and interference-free a bus works, you have to leave the digital level and measure and classify one layer lower on the analog physical layer. The same applies to troubleshoot. Is digital communication interrupted due to external influences or is something defective in the bus itself? Displaying the waveform is not difficult. An oscilloscope can do this if it can trigger on a specific device. But judging whether the signal shown is good or perhaps worse than before is tricky. The physical layer in the CAN bus is measured as follows. How the GEMA quality level is determined. This is the digital signal of one of the nodes in the bus. The tester samples every single bit 64 times. The peak-to-peak -peak voltage is determined. The disturbance-free voltage range is detected and measured 44 64 of bit width is evaluated to not be interfered by edges. The more reflections there are, the worse the ratio between these voltages. The required time for rising and falling of the edge is measured in the range of 10% to 90% of the signal level. The measured values are converted into a percentage value. One third of each value is included in the quality level. What GMAC devices show you about your bus? How the GMAC quality level helps you to find problems. What does it show you? The GEMA quality value expresses in one number how good or bad the signal of a device in the bus is. If you are measuring in a well-functioning system, you can now see how large your interference reserve is. For predictive maintenance, continuous monitoring can be useful. In the event of an error, you can find out whether the cause is due to a problem in the wiring, in a device or an external influence. 
licenses open up further possibilities. In addition to the quality value, you will find more information about your bus, its parameters and data traffic. Depending on which device and which licenses you choose, you will receive even more details that will make your daily work and troubleshooting easier. Our software can be enhanced with different licenses, so you only have to pay for what you actually want to use. Last question. What do you know about your bus without a proper measuring device?